Oh, okay. The tarp garage was out because I, I managed to finally talk to somebody from my town and they said that it's against the law to have a tarp garage. So I, I abandoned that project because it was illegal. Well, I'm still going to create the 20 heater pop-up tent, but it's not a garage at all. It's a pop-up tent. It's just big enough for me and my tools to work on cars during the winter and summer. It's going to have heaters and air conditioning, so it'll be year-round able to be used. And I'm also planning to put um, mechanical wheels on it and have it be um, automated in its expansion and reduction or collapsing. So it's going to be a basically a robotic vessel. Um, maybe I'll be able to control it with a smartphone app. I'm not sure, or voice control. But basically, it will collapse down, and then, well, let me go full screen. So okay, I'm going to create a mechanic pop-up tent with mechanical wheels. It's going to be tarp on the outside and it will be able to collapse just like your cheap canopies but the wheels will will basically like roll it until it spreads out into a full size and um, all the pipes that were like folded up will be spread it out then kind of like an accordion like they'll be kind of folded and then they'll they'll stretch out and maybe snap into place like a folding table type of deal. And so, yeah, it'll have four walls and a roof. And within it will be several heat lamps that will keep me really warm in the winter when I work within it. Um, it will be able to drive then with mechanical wheels, with motor-operated wheels, it will drive itself into the garage when I'm done using it, and then it will drive itself back out to the car when I'm when I'm ready to work. And it will have a shelf within it with my automotive tools on the shelf. And all I have to do is bring my chair into it, and then I can sit down and work on cars in it. Um, it's going to have air conditioning as well, so I'll use it year-round. There, it will be mosquito-free and cool in the summer and freezing weather and icy cold winds free in the winter. Um, it will expand to about six feet by four feet is the total working area by however tall. Um, since I'm five foot three it will need to be I guess five foot five so I can stand in it. Um, it will need to have wheels big enough to drive on grass so that when I'm parked on the side of the driveway, it will be able to drive onto the grass so if I'm working on the right side of the car. Um, the wheels will be braking, basically, so I don't have to worry about it blowing. Um, it will need to be bottom heavy so it doesn't blow over. And I think the wheels and the batteries for the motors that run the wheels and all the work tools will be a low center of gravity to prevent it from blowing over. And then it will have an extendable um, portion that reaches out and then comes down across like the hood of the car or whatever. So that way um, it won't just be a box with an open face. That open face will need to go out over the car. So it will be like um, like this, and then reach out, extending over the top of the car. And then it will have to drape down and have maybe little weights at the bottom where it's going to rest on the car so that bugs can't get in. And then maybe it will even have um, netting on the bottom of that to drop down so any gaps and stuff will be covered and bugs can't fly in. And it will also need to have an extendable portion that goes out under the car so you can lay under the car without winds blowing in um, or mosquitoes flying in when you're laying down underneath the car. So yeah, it will extend out under and over the car creating a wall of volume, a volume area that you're protected w when working under or above the car, not just when you're inside this tent. Because the tent can't be separate from the car, it needs to cup the car and envelop it. 
Um, it's going. It's only going to be like I said, six feet wide by like three and a half or four feet long, or se six feet long by three and a half feet wide. Um, plus these extension portions. Uh, so yeah, no more mosquitoes, and it's going to have um, lights within the extension portions and within the normal portion so it's a very well lit area all my tools and everything will be in it ready to go um, yeah so it's it's a mobile collapsible and expandable robotic pop-up tent that can drive to one of the four corners of a vehicle and automatically envelop that portion of the vehicle and it's going to have a zipper door and I can walk in. It's going to have air conditioning and heating in the form of heat lamps. And it's probably going to have like 10, or 10 to 20 heat lamps. And yeah, so with that solution I'll be able to work on cars any time of year, nice weather or bad weather, and without having a garage. And yet I'll be air conditioned, bug free, and, and heated, respectively, depending on the weather, temperature control, well lit area. So it's almost going to be like a mobile garage in a way. And the fact that it's collapsible, it'll be able to drive into our garage and park itself in a docking station and recharge and stuff. So, yeah, it's, I think it's the perfect solution to not having a garage but wanting to be able to work in the driveway without being miserable 90% of the time because there's either freezing weather or it's rain or there's high winds and sand gets in your eyes when it's really windy outside or there's a million mosquitoes and it's sweltering hot it's just very rarely a perfect day when you want to work on your car and you have to suffer and I'm I'm not wanting to suffer I want to enjoy working on my car and I want to work on not only my car but my wife's car and whatever vehicle I'm um, rehabbing to flip or sell or even working on a friend's car or whatever if that's the case like I've worked on my sister's car once you know how to work on cars suddenly all the people come out of the woodwork wanting you to help them with their car so you know that's going to continue um, so yeah that's my plan and I think it'll be a super fun project and I'm looking forward to it in fact I gotta make sure that's on my to-do list I'm not sure if I actually added that to my to-do list <laughs> yeah. So that's actually on my to-do list already. Um, it's gonna be a fun project, guys. There's so much good stuff that is like upon us. It's crazy, and I can't wait. And you guys are gonna, you guys don't even have a clue of what you're in for. I'm gonna be building video games. Mobile, collapsible, robotic, pop-up car tents. I'm going to be doing car renovations and rehabs, car flipping. I'm going to be eventually someday restoring a classic vehicle. I'm going to be developing my botting empire, which you guys will get to see some algorithms and stuff, but that's about it. Um... I'm going to be building quadcopters, flying machines, paramotors, rocket machines. I'm going to be building a CNC machine. I'm going to be building a robot army. I'm going to be starting my musical career. Man, you guys are so lucky that you get to watch this stream because this stream is the most epic thing ever. It is sickening to imagine making all these models myself. And now I don't have to. Yeah. I swear, like, just going through this, I can see so many... Little baby over here. Oh my goodness. Like, like, I could just take a bunch of the cool cars and make a racing game. I could take... Uh... So the people of the zone... Oh! I didn't tell you a new project I'm starting. What? Why do you say it like that? I didn't say... My cheerleader or my... Moner. Okay. I'm making the mechanic pop up tent to be on four wheels. And it's going to collapse just like a canopy that you buy. 
into a small, you know, a small area. It's going to have all my tools already in it on a shelf. The wheels will turn outward and, and roll to stretch it out. And then when, when it's ready to put it away, they'll roll inward. And then it will drive into the garage and park itself. And plug itself in. So it's going to be a robot automated mobile canopy tent that can drive around. It will drive out to the portion of the car. It will be voice control. I'll say front left side setup. And it will drive out of the garage and set up and all my tools will be in it the lighting it'll turn on and then it will even establish a comfortable temperature all automatically it'll turn on air conditioning or it will turn on the heat and the lighting according to the temperature it senses in the air That's pretty cool, baby. and then I'll just walk in and then it's also going to have extendable automated thing that stretches out over the top of the car and underneath the car so that bugs can't fly in from below because it's going to have an open face against the car so it needs to have that all closed off by the car itself and then have walls on the other end of the car so that I can lay down under the car whatever no bugs can get in and, and the temperature the weather's all kept out so it's gonna have like um, yeah an ex a thing that extends out underneath the car and around the wheels and then extends out over it just like um, like a camper extends out over the pickup truck bed like it, it extends outward so it's gonna ha like extend and that will all be automated. And then when it's re when I'm done, it will retract in both of those. And then it will all collapse. And then it will drive back to the garage and park itself. That sounds really cool. Yeah, and it's going to be all automated. That, there's a lot of technology in that. It's a, basically like a robot tent. And it and it's voice controlled. And it it's intelligent. It sets itself up. All my tools will be in it. Everything's already in it. All I have to do is tell it what to do. It'll start heating it up when I walk outside. It's going to be te all <coughs> temperature ready. I walk in. Maybe, but I think a lot of people that work on their cars have a garage. That's what I was thinking. Because I was thinking, oh, I wonder how you know. I'm in a special c scenario where I cannot legally build a canopy tent. That would be obviously a good solution. I can't legally do it. And I don't have a garage. So it's like, if I want to be serious about fixing cars, I'm out of options. So I, I had to go to an extreme solution that many people wouldn't need to have. But it's very cool, and a lot of people are excited about it. And I love how it, it implements my passion for robotics, and it's a great project for me to put in all my robotic skills. And not much more work than already having to build the thing anyways. All I'm doing is adding four wheels, and then voice commands and all that which I had to develop anyways for my robot stuff so it's like a, like an obvious solution and not that hard for somebody that can build that thing a humanoid that this is nothing like I, I have all the knowledge which nobody believes me but I have all the knowledge to build a humanoid and I can already do it it's just a matter of finishing it and so using that knowledge I can build all kinds of other stuff and I've been telling everyone that no one believes me but I can